Um, let's add a section and we'll call it full height. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 100 VH. Give it a background color of like happy. Cool. And then we add some text. And we say, wait, why am I doing this? I forgot. The Webflow has layouts. So all I have to do is just go like this. Bam, done. And we can just set this to height 100 VH. Cool, that was much easier. Uh, ripple effect. I'm working on a mega menu at the moment. I use drop downs. Check out the okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a nav bar at the top. Let's go ahead and make that fixed to the top. Okay, we're almost there. All right, so we have this, and now we need drop downs. So let's bring in a drop down. And there we go. All right. That's the simple part. Wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it's simple, it's simple. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, check this out. Let's make this hero have a background of um, orange. Okay, and then this nav bar we're going to set the background to transparent, okay? And this drop down, we're going to give it an element trigger. So if you didn't know, you can set interactions to some Webflow components like tabs, sliders, menus, and drop downs. So this drop down right here, I'm going to press plus and check this out. Uh, wait, how come I can't select it? What? Help. Select, okay, do I have to select this one? Okay, yeah, so select the drop down from the navigation menu and then go to your interactions and then you unlock this. I need like a, a, link, a link sound effect like Zelda. So you click that and now you have when menu opens, do something. When the menu closes, do something. Ah, I got it, simple. So, check this out. When menu opens, start animation, and I'm gonna call it menu open. So when menu opens, take this nav bar and change the background color to white. Oh, there's a, let me fix that. I don't want a duration because they're not using duration. So I'm not going to use one. So it's just a toggle. And then on menu close, duplicate and call it menu close. And just set the background color back to transparent. Cool. Done. Save. Halfway there. And so now, how do we make this drop down list? How do we make that when I open it, it takes up the full width? How do we do that? Um, huh, hold on. Let's give this a class name of drop down list. The reason why I want to set a class name is because I want to make sure that it has this green selector that says open. So we can style it based on when the element is closed. See, it's no longer there. Or when the element is open. Now it's here. Cool? All right, so on open, I want it to take the whole width. Let me see if I remember how to do this. Um, okay, so I'm going to set this nav bar. It's fixed. This container is position static. This nav menu. 
I need to remove the relative instead of the static. This drop down, need to remove the relative, make it static. This drop down list, there we go. See, now that the drop down list cannot find a parent that has position absolute, it'll keep running up the list until it finds a parent that has position either absolute or relative. If it can't find any, then we'll just go straight to the body tag. But look right here. This drop-down list is now relative to navbar because none of its parents have position relative or absolute set to them. So drop-down menu is static, nav menu is static, container is static, navbar has fixed, and then it's like, oh, hey, you're my relative. Cool. So this drop-down list, click menu open, and there we go, we have open, and so we can set the absolute to the top left. Cool. And now we can just add some padding to the top. There we go. Or actually, no, not padding. We can add some position absolute right there. Okay, so 60 pixels from the top. In this drop-down list, we can add a container inside of it and put all of these drop-down links inside of that. So now they all line up because they're all in the same width. And let's make this drop down list white. There we go. Wait, I need to close it. Close menu. Bam. There you go. And then, like, they have a. Theirs is hover. So, I mean, simple enough, you can just tell Webflow, open on hover, clicky. That's it. Oh, you bought a coffee? Did it show up on my stream? I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Morris, for the coffee. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. Uh, yeah, so that's how you do it. And you can just copy paste that um, drop down. So copy, paste, and then they had another one like over here. So now you have, but, but, but. Well, I mean, they have the same content right now, but they're they're changing. But there you go.